Glutamic acid, Wikipedia audio. Glutamic acid is an alpha amino acid with formula C, 5H, 9O, 4N. Its molecular structure could be idealized as HOOCCH2COOH, with two carboxyl groups COOH and one amino group, NH, 2. However, in the solid state and mildly acid water solutions, the molecule assumes an electrically neutral Tsvitarayan structure OOCCH2COOH. The acid can lose one proton from its second carboxyl group to form the conjugate base, the singly negative anion glutamate OOCCH2CO. This form of the compound is prevalent in neutral solutions. The glutamate neurotransmitter plays the principal role in neural activation. This anion is also responsible for the savory flavor of certain foods, and used in glutamate flavorings such as message. In highly alkaline solutions the doubly negative anion OOCCH2Q prevails. The radical corresponding to glutamate is called glutamyl. Glutamic acid is used by almost all living beings in the biosynthesis of proteins being specified in DNA by the codons GAA or GAG. It is non-essential in humans, meaning the body can synthesize it. Chemistry When glutamic acid is dissolved in water, the amino group may gain a proton, 2COOH. At pH values between about 2.5 and 4.1, the carboxylic acid closer to the amine generally loses a proton, and the acid becomes the neutral Tsvitarayan OOCCH2COOH. This is also the form of the compound in the crystalline solid state. The change in protonation state is gradual, the two forms are in equal concentrations at pH 2.10. At even higher pH, the other carboxylic acid group loses its proton and the acid exists almost entirely as the glutamate anion OOCCH2Q, with a single negative charge overall. The change in protonation state occurs at pH 4.07. This form with both carboxylates lacking protons is dominant in the physiological pH range. At even higher pH, the amino group loses the extra proton and the prevalent species is the doubly negative anion OOCCH2Q. The change in protonation state occurs at pH 9.47. The carbon atom adjacent to the amino group is chiral, so glutamic acid can exist in two optical isomers, D and L. The L form is the one most widely occurring in nature but the D form occurs in some special contexts, such as the cell walls of the bacteria and the liver of mammals. Although they occur naturally in many foods, the flavor contributions made by glutamic acid and other amino acids were only scientifically identified early in the 20th century. The substance was discovered and identified in the year 1866, by the German chemist Karl Heinrich Ritthausen who treated wheat gluten with sulfuric acid. In 1908 Japanese researcher Kikuni Ikeda of the Tokyo Imperial University identified brown crystals left behind after the evaporation of a large amount of kombu broth as glutamic acid. These crystals, when tasted, reproduced the ineffable but undeniable flavor he detected in many foods most especially in seaweed. Professor Ikeda termed this flavor umami. He then patented a method of mass-producing a crystalline salt of glutamic acid, monosodium glutamate. Glutamic acid is produced on the largest scale of any amino acid, with an estimated annual production of about 1.5 million tons in 2006. Chemical synthesis was supplanted by the aerobic fermentation of sugars and ammonia in the 1950s, 
with the organism Coronibacterium glutamicum being the most widely used for production. Isolation and purification can be achieved by concentration and crystallization, it is also widely available as its hydrochloride salt. Glutamate is a key compound in cellular metabolism. In humans, dietary proteins are broken down by digestion into amino acids, which serve as metabolic fuel for other functional roles in the body. A key process in amino acid degradation is transamination, in which the amino group of an amino acid is transferred to an alpha keto acid, typically catalyzed by a transaminase. The reaction can be generalized as such. Ionization A very common alpha keto acid is alpha ketoglutarate, an intermediate in the citric acid cycle. Transamination of alpha ketoglutarate gives glutamate. The resulting alpha keto acid product is often a useful one as well, which can contribute as fuel or as a substrate for further metabolism processes. Examples are as follows. Both pyruvate and oxalostate are key components of cellular metabolism, contributing as substrates or intermediates in fundamental processes such as glycolysis, gluconeogenesis, and the citric acid cycle. Glutamate also plays an important role in the body's disposal of excess or waste nitrogen. Glutamate undergoes deamination an oxidative reaction catalyzed by glutamate dehydrogenase, as follows. Ammonia is then excreted predominantly as urea, synthesized in the liver. Transamination can thus be linked to deamination, effectively allowing nitrogen from the amine groups of amino acids to be removed, via glutamate as an intermediate, and finally excreted from the body in the form of urea. Glutamate is also a neurotransmitter, which makes it one of the most abundant molecules in the brain. Malignant brain tumors known as glioma or glioblastoma exploit this phenomenon by using glutamate as an energy source, especially when these tumors become more dependent on glutamate due to mutations in the gene IDH1. Glutamate is the most abundant excitatory neurotransmitter in the vertebrate nervous system. At chemical synapses, glutamate is stored in vesicles. Nerve impulses trigger release of glutamate from the presynaptic cell. Glutamate acts on ionotropic and metabotropic receptors. In the opposing postsynaptic cell, glutamate receptors, such as the NMDA receptor or the AMPA receptor, bind glutamate and are activated. Because of its role in synaptic plasticity, glutamate is involved in cognitive functions such as learning and memory in the brain. The form of plasticity known as long-term potentiation takes place at glutamatergic synapses in the hippocampus, neocortex, and other parts of the brain. Glutamate works not only as a point-to-point -point transmitter, but also through spillover synaptic crosstalk between synapses in which summation of glutamate released from a neighboring synapse creates extrasynaptic signaling slash volume transmission. In addition, glutamate plays important roles in the regulation of growth cones and synaptogenesis during brain development as originally described by Mark Matson. Extracellular glutamate in Drosophila brains has been found to regulate postsynaptic glutamate receptor clustering, via a process involving receptor desensitization. A gene expressed in glial cells actively transports glutamate into the extracellular space, while, in the nucleus accumbens stimulating group 2 metabotropic glutamate receptors, this gene was found to reduce extracellular glutamate levels. This raises the possibility that this extracellular glutamate plays an endocrine-like role as part of a larger homeostatic system. Optical isomerism History 
Glutamate also serves as the precursor for the synthesis of the inhibitory gamma-aminobutyric acid in GABAergic neurons. This reaction is catalyzed by glutamate decarboxylase, which is most abundant in the cerebellum and pancreas. Synthesis Biosynthesis Industrial synthesis Function and uses Metabolism Stiff person syndrome is a neurologic disorder caused by anti-GAD antibodies, leading to a decrease in GABA synthesis and, therefore, impaired motor function such as muscle stiffness and spasm. Since the pancreas has abundant GAD, a direct immunological destruction occurs in the pancreas and the patients will have diabetes mellitus. Glutamic acid, being a constituent of protein, is present in foods that contain protein, but it can only be tasted when it is present in an unbound form. Significant amounts of free glutamic acid are present in a wide variety of foods, including cheese and soy sauce, and is responsible for umami, one of the five basic tastes of the human sense of taste. Glutamic acid is often used as a food additive and flavor enhancer in the form of its sodium salt, known as monosodium glutamate. All meats, poultry, fish, eggs, dairy products, and kombu are excellent sources of glutamic acid. Some protein-rich plant foods also serve as sources. 30% to 35% of gluten is glutamic acid. 95% of the dietary glutamate is metabolized by intestinal cells in a first pass. Neurotransmitter Oxygrose is a plant growth preparation that contains 30% glutamic acid. In recent years, there has been much research into the use of residual dipolar coupling in nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy. A glutamic acid derivative, polygamabenzyl glutamate, is often used as an alignment medium to control the scale of the dipolar interactions observed. The drug phencyclidine antagonizes glutamic acid non-competitively at the NMDA receptor. For the same reasons, dextromethorphan and ketamine also have strong dissociative and hallucinogenic effects. Acute infusion of the drug LY354740 resulted in a marked diminution of yahimbine induced stress response in bonnet macaques. Chronic oral administration of LY354740 in those animals led to markedly reduced baseline cortisol levels in comparison to untreated control subjects. LY354740 has also been demonstrated to act on the metabotropic glutamate receptor 3 of human adrenocortical cells, downregulating aldosterone synthase, CYP11B1 and the production of adrenal steroids. Glutamate does not easily pass the blood-brain barrier, but, instead, is transported by a high-affinity transport system. It can also be converted into glutamine. Brain Nonsynaptic Glutamatergic Signaling Circuits GABA Precursor Flavor Enhancer Nutrient Plant growth NMR spectroscopy Pharmacology